nicknamed. Well, it was more a nickname. And they were given the task to infiltrate a ball, organi a ball organized by uh, a Vinc Lord Vincenzo Desperati, which is allegedly a vampire, but I mean, is he going to be really a vampire? Probably not. That's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, to retrieve, and I do have uh, the name right here, to retrieve a very special gem, Ruby in particular, that is called, well, 20 Reload. Uh, okay, no, that's not working. I have it right here. All right, to retrieve uh, Modox here, which is a legendary ruby uh, from this castle, using uh, the bolt to infiltrate, uh, using uh, the bolt to infiltrate and trying to um, get in. Uh, all right, I have to go for like two seconds. Sorry, guys. I know this is not the greatest start from for the <laughs> for the thing. This is the perfect will... start. Yes, hang on a second. I'll be right back. <clears throat> The chaos is not player induced at this point. It's okay. friends, family of the DM induced. So hmm. where are our characters right now? Are we, together? Well, we don't know that. Um, I think he was going to give us the setup. Yeah. Well, I'm, in that case, if anyone's got a better reading advice than me, do they want to read the letter we got, or should I do it? Oh, he's back. Oh, oh he's back. We were going to am... read. Sorry. We were going to read that letter. You okay, uh, you you that? can you can go. Anyone can do sort of a southern accent. They can do that. Please don't make me do that. <laughs> Wait, what kind of accent? A southern accent? Yes. <clears throat> okay, for the letter. Yes, it has to be one of the Americans. Please. Where's Kalen? I, I can try. I can try. Hold on. It has to be the person playing the cowboy. Where's That's the it. letter? Okay. Uh, well, if, yeah, it's. Is it oh, the wait. dear esteemed co colleagues? Is that it? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, go to Rogue One. It's on Rogue 20, one. but if you go on the Rogue One shot, uh, it's pinned on the page. Oh. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. here we go. You got it? Oh, God. Okay. It is a bit long, so. Okay, so we've been recruited by the local Thieves Guild. Correct to yeah. Well, track you down were you were recruited by uh, a certain Aaron Henry Birch, known okay. as Potion, and he actually contacted um, uh, the local uh, guild. Just Got to it. Make it more easy. Yeah. All right. So you need a southern accent. Yes, I do. Man. My name is Henry Birch, but everybody knows me as Potion. On account of my interest in the alchemical practice, a few months ago I was informed of a great opportunity to pull off the greatest heist this damn world has ever seen. Some in my some in my line of work might even consider it an act of kindness and a gift to the whole community, but I was afraid the guards might disagree. This is why I contacted the eleven best thieves on this great continent. They all refused, of course, on account of my credit not being good enough. <laughs> so y'all fellas have the honor of carrying out this brave act. I do believe that your fast hands and your experience in dealing with the unholy creatures will prove fundamental for this mission. Y'all are probably curious what the heist is actually, though, I reckon, so I'll go directly to the point. You will enter the residence of Lord Vicentio de Sterferati. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> under, <okay. laughs> under the false pretenses of being emissaries of the Knight's Masks, a famous criminal guild from the godforsaken city of Watergate. Oops, Westgate. 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 That's another <laughs> gate. Different gate. Okay, proper inv invitations to the Lord's Dinner Ball are attached to this letter together with a rough map of the residence itself. Once there, you will find and steal Mordox Tear, a ruby of unique arcane properties, and finally make your way outside and drop off the jam at the Guild's Hall. This is the first time that Infernal Lord has opened up his home stores to anyone, and acquiring both the invitation and the map has been extremely difficult, mostly on account of people being afraid of him being an alleged vampire, as this situation won't probably repeat anytime soon, I do encourage y'all to succeed in your task. May Maestro's blessing make your hands steady and your hearts brave. Kind regards, Henry Potion Birch. 
That's a good twang. That was that was amazing. <laughs> All that red okay. dead has led me to this moment. <laughs> um. So a couple of days passes as you guys receive this uh, missive uh, with a note from your local guild telling you that um, the actual heist would be uh, performed in three days uh, from the day you received the letter. Uh, you all uh, go and decide to buy whatever gear you wanted to do, you wanted to have, um, and you all inform that you will you'll be taking uh, one single carriage to the uh, to the castle just to save face and actually pretend you guys come from the same actual organization and are actually a united group. Um, you guys make your way towards, separately, towards uh, the rendezvous point. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, for the purposes of this, uh, Buck and Hordis are the first one to arrive. Like, okay. Um, just so I understand, are we undercover or are these Im invitations made out to us under our real name? Well, well they're made out to us under your real name, but uh, they tell, uh, well, under your real name, but under the assumption that you guys are not part of this guild. You're part from a guild that is from another city that is very infamous of not being a um, part particularly honorable guild. Okay. So do we know that we're each working not for that guild or uh, yes think we're all part of okay you, you do know that you just know that it's like the cover story that they had okay. because do we know each other's names or no uh i'm assuming you don't but you can introduce yourself okay all right so i walk up to this short little dude <laughs> and i'll be like uh i'm three foot tall for the record so. yeah yeah i'll be like okay i heard that there was a a little dude with us and i I think you're it. Is that am I correct? Who are you? You just assume that all halflings are the same. Yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> am I wrong? I, I'm a, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. No, not. Oh, you are. This time, no. You, yes. Okay. You are wrong. All right. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and you all right. are. I'm Hovis. Okay. You can. I'm Buckley Theodore Tealeaf. You may call me Buck. Okay, Buck. Nice to meet you. Are we waiting on anyone else? Or? Uh, yes. As you're saying that, <laughs> okay. you, see yes. another, you see another another figure approach. Um, Drog, you, Drog, you're making your way towards there. You were told by your mother that uh, you should split up and try to get some more gear while you were out. You're trying to run to the shop because it's really kind of late in the in the evening. You didn't find it open. But at this point, there's no any other place that you can actually go to. So you decide, well, I might as well make my way towards uh, the rendezvous point and wait for my mother there. So you're the next one to arrive, if you want to uh, yeah, say uh, anything, do anything. I guess I'll just kind of like walk in and kind of look around. Be like, oh God, am I late? Is she out? I guess I'll see those two over there. Let's kind of eye them up a little bit and kind of walk over. Are you guys here for the thing? Uh, like a high school thing? <laughs> Excuse me. I... Good job. Oh, are you working with us? Yeah. This isn't a paper route, you know that, right? Okay. Says the um... small little guy over there. <laughs> no, he's got you. Yeah. Alright, I mean, I guess if, if short stuff can do it, you can do it too. I... Sorry. Oh, sorry, Buck. I, I know we just. I've been doing this job for over twenty years. I'm not saying you're bad at it. I'm just saying if something is on a high shelf, it might be difficult. Yeah, that's got to be pretty hard to reach up sometimes. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm Drag, by the way. Okay, I'm guessing Buck. you're pretty new at this. You should know it's normally a good idea to have the people on your team on your side. So when okay. shit goes south, they don't think, fuck them, and leave them behind. Okay, I mean, that's I see... good advice that you should take, yeah. I see the logic, but... I am the... Okay, if that's not going to dissuade you, I am the right height to punch you directly in the face. <laughs> so, okay. I, I take a step back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just move one of my hands a little bit and just sort of block. 
<laughs> but table talk, you have to remember, I have very low charisma. <laughs> so, no, it, this is great. This is yeah. great. This is amazing. I'm loving every second so far. Mm -hmm. uh, are you the I've... last? Person, are you the last part of the group? Uh, no, uh, we're still waiting on someone else. As as you say that, because I do like my dramatic entrances. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see here, more than see the footstep of someone approaching. And Drog, you think, okay, she's finally here, uh, ready to join. And as you turn around, you do see someone that is familiar, but it is not your mom. So, Anna, if you would like to introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, what you, who you see emerging from the shadows is uh, a bit taller than Dara. Um, he's got kind of a dark cloak on. And as he pulls back his hood, you see Garen. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a parent switcheroo. Oh. You oh. Your mom wanted the house to herself. She sent me. <clears throat> right. Wait, do you two know each other? Uh <laughs> I think Garen will just, he just like looks at Drag. Ugh, I'm just gonna like scratch my head. Oh God. <clears throat> well, I was expecting to time out with mom, but I guess we can do this. Uh, yeah, cool. She said something about father son bonding. Huh. Yes, we need more <laughs> yeah, of that. But... <laughs> yeah, Buck just looks at Hovis like, what the hell? Buck, are your parents showing up? No, mine is dead. <laughs> Because if mine show them, we freaked out. <laughs> well, hello, I guess. Uh, I'm Hovis. That's Buck. Um, you're. Did you say your name earlier or no? He just pauses and like sizes, sizes you both up. Uh, Garen. Hi. And he'll like extend a hand. Okay. I'll shake his hand, and as I do, I'll say quietly, like, he might punch you in the dick, so don't get too close. And now you can say hi to Buck if you want. <laughs> I, I actually rolled a perception check, and I got a seven, so I missed that entirely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, Buck should offer to shake hands as well. Mm -hmm. I think Garen's pretty civil, but he's, like, pretty closed off for the most part. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I should point out as well that Book isn't like your cheery, happy, like, let's have second breakfast halfling. He's a like trained mercenary with like a shaved head and scars on his face and hands. It's a rogue one shot. If you guys are not edge lords, I would be thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you guys look like? Give me the, the spiel. I guess we kind of got Buck. Yeah, but he's like three foot tall and 40 pounds and yeah. Scarred up. Mm hmm. Okay, um, I guess you guys know what Drog looks like for the most part. Um, I look like this, short of shaved head, bigger black beard, a um, couple of small scars, uh, kind of wearing like a scarf shawl type thing. Over Are some you like, human? Yeah, human. Mm. Over some just like darker clothes with a little bit of like leather armor. But nothing crazy. Oh shit, I think the only person with dark vision here is Drag. What's up? Uh, oh no, he just got <laughs> useful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. You're gonna be nice to me now. Oh no. Okay. Also means you're probably gonna be first all the time, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sink or swim. Time to learn. I, I guess it's time. Um. As you guys keep. Actually. Drug, you. Drug, you can give you a, a quick description of yourself, mostly because this is not the version of the drug that we are used to. Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, Drag is a little shorter, like 5'5 five, five right now. Uh, he's still got white hair, kind of silvery hair. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit more put together, I would say. He does not have a scar on his face, but he does still have one red eye and one silver eye. So he's just a little well-kept punk right now. Okay. Still rocking yeah. that DeviantArt OC meme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got Do it. teenage half-elves get at me? Wait, say that again? Do teenage half elves get acne? Because oh. they're half elf and elves don't. 
I'm gonna say no acne right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Connor's like, this is a fantasy that I want to. This is my boy. In my life, yeah. yeah. This is a fun fantasy game. We're gonna All right. say no acne. Yeah, Garen is like right. taller. Sorry, Garen is just a taller, uh, dark haired human male, darker tan skin, uh, pretty typical rogue man. <laughs> And everyone in D and D is hot, as Kelsey said. So, it's true. It is true for the most part, yes. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, uh, a, a coach approaches. Uh, uh, the a driver makes itself known to you, and he gives you uh, the signal. Is the one that's supposed to bring you to the castle. So you guys uh, climb up onto the carriage, and it takes about an hour and a half, two hours, to get outside of town into the wilderness and up what seems to be um, a smaller, uh, medium-sized hill around the part of town. As you do, you see that the night starts to fall and the skies get covered in clouds as after about an hour in, uh, rain starts to fall heavier and heavier until finally thunder starts to strike <laughs> because it has to come on yeah. <laughs> set in a good mood here mm -hmm. uh eventually you guys can we have a driver or are we expected to drive it ourselves? no no no. it does have a driver okay okay uh eventually you make your way on top of this hill and as you approach you see first from the distance and uh, it keeps growing bigger and bigger what seems to be essentially uh, a huge skull right in the middle of the mountain standing there with uh, what seems to be eyes for windows, well, windows for eyes and the mouth seems to be formed of a completely made of stone uh, a door the as you stop in front of it, mm -hmm. essentially yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the inspiration. Yeah, yeah. You guys uh, well, make your normal. way. It is normal. Yeah. You guys make your way outside of the carriage. You see, as one final lighting strikes and this blinding light flashes in front of you, uh, this giant skeleton face staring at you essentially, gargoyles all over the top. And you guys are standing in front of a closed door. Is there anything else outside? Like, are there other carriages pulled up and like, waiting for people to finish nope. their evening leave? We're the like, only ones? One. Yes. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull out a flask and take a sip, and then pass it to Buck. See if he wants to take it. He takes it and then downs it. All the it? whole thing? <laughs> Most of it. He leaves a little bit. He's not that much. Most of it, yeah. Oh, he leaves one sip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Okay. Karen's gonna lean over to Dragon and just say, "Did you pick up the supplies she sent you?" Uh. I yeah yeah I did. Did I? The shop was closed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I got the supplies. Wait, did you say the shop was closed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, okay. I, I want to roll insight. Do it. Insight versus deception, yeah? Yeah. My deception's okay. <laughs> My insight's not. Oh god, it's bad. 10. 23. Oh shit! I, can't I mean, you have no reason not to trust your own son, let's be honest. <laughs> He's telling you that he picked up the supplies, <clears throat> that he definitely did pick up the supplies. Why wouldn't I, I pick up the supplies? So, so Garen, whose approval is usually super hard to get, <laughs> For drag, he'll just and like because he's bad at sh showing it in the first place too. He just kind of like looks you in the eye and just goes, and then turns back to the. I looked at Garen. I go, "That's a good kid you got there." Very I wise. don't say anything. <laughs> I finish the rest of the flask. I'm just quiet the whole time. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit now. Just. <laughs> uh... Okay, looking between, I look at um, drag. And then he's like 16, so I just miss him. And I look between Hovis and Garen. Which of the two looks more respectable? 
Like not just outward me. appearance. Not me. <laughs> oh. I like it. <laughs> then Puck points at Garen and says, You should be the one to knock on the door. Can you not reach or what's the problem? Oh. <laughs> I can reach a door to knock on the I go for the high five. The problem, the problem is people are prejudiced. <laughs> people are prejudiced against ha- ha- sorry, halflings and they assume we're all thieves. So when we knock at the door, they close the door in our face when they see it's ha- a halfling. But you are a thief. I'm sure I'll be much more all convincing. Between the ages of 18 and 25 have been to prison. But you didn't Ooh. know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Hopefully you can get some reason. <laughs> if you want, you can roll me an, in, an, investiga- an inside check. Because that was a very precise... Statistic. Statistic. But I, as a DM, do not trust completely, but... I think while this bickering is happening, Garen will walk forward and uh, inspect the door for tracks. Okay. Um, I rolled a 12 on inside. Okay, nine deception. Nine <laughs> so, yeah, he might have inflated <laughs> the number a bit. Mm. Might have. Okay. Um, you can roll me an investigation if you want to um, uh, look for traps. Ooh, I'm not rolling great. Uh, ten. Ten. The door is fine. I'll give it a look. See. All right. Uh, well, you don't knock with your hand because it's a really solid, probably really thick stone, so knocking would not have that much effect, but yes. The knocker. The device. Nothing happens for a couple of seconds, and then the door... It opens to a... the darkness inside. Just to clarify... Lean over and peek is this a Is this a party we're going to? Yes. Are, All are, right. Are you are you asking in character? Or? Wait, should we have been wearing party clothes then? No, I I'm don't know. I'm, I'm I gay for a fight. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you do. Uh, so who was speaking in? Again? I was just kind of like leaned over. And All right. In. Okay. So you're the one. Only one I can actually see in the darkness. You do see standing uh, in front of you, almost completely still. What seems to be a humanoid figure. Um, seems to have, from what we can see, no face. It's like completely smooth all around. And as Ooh. you look kind of confused, uh, he takes a step forward and you do see, okay, it's a mask. It's not that weird. It's actually like a complete blank mask. It does, probably has a face. And you see this- Probably tall... has a face? <laughs> probably, you, you can't see it, so you don't know, but he probably has a face. Logic would dictate that he has a face. Tracks. I don't think right. he has a face, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Can I help you? <clears throat> uh, we're here for the party. I'm gonna put my hand on Drake's shoulder and like push him behind me. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> go behind my dad. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna deliberately. I'm gonna hold up the home. invitation. I'm gonna deliberately stand behind Hovis and just use him to hide me. Okay. Hoping they don't notice me at first. I'll, I'll make myself a little bit wider. Uh, sure. Uh, he takes the invitation, gives it a look, gives it back. Yes, we have been expecting you. Please, come in. And as he gestures, you see that uh, lights essentially just kind of uh, appears into what seems to be a corridor as a couple of torches just light up on their own as he points towards uh, the interior of the castle. I tumbled off. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not saying anything because I'm stood behind Hobbit trying not to be seen, so go ahead. <laughs> Are you the lord of this house? No, I am but his servant. I am here to escort you to the party. How many other guests have arrived so far? All of them except you. I'm already walking down the hall. Ominous. I follow him. Fashionably late. Yeah, I'll keep walking. Okay. Uh, And as you do, he kind of follows you from behind, escorts you. And as you keep walking, you see, every time that you... um, Keep going forward. One torch essentially just kind of lights up, and the one 
and the back of you just goes out. So there's not like really a lot of light, just this stream of light that follows you as you go along. As you reach what seems to be like sort of a central place where uh, the corridor essentially divides into other three. Uh, you, oh, you can all see it because there's a light. Uh, there seems to be like a fountain sitting there. Uh, completely encrusted in gems and gold. Seems uh. to be not functional at the moment. Huh. What, ki what kind of gems? <laughs> uh, well, you can see topaz, you can see... Um, there are, kind of, there are a couple of rubies, actually. One seems to be a diamond. It seems to be on the actual top of the fountain. Do any of them appear to be loose at all? <laughs> make a, make a, a perception check. Ay, ay, ay. Perception is where? Mm, that's a nine. That's a nine. That's not great. Maybe one of them seems really loose. All right. If, uh, uh, if our guide... The... Where's our guide right now? He's standing right behind all of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was behind us. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I shrugged, because he can probably see me. <laughs> hmm. It's a very intriguing fountain you guys have here. Yes. Uh, my master designed it. Oh. I like it. And I'll just sort of like run my fingers over it. Anything like shift at all? <laughs> Make a slide of end check. All right. Garen is keeping a very close that eye on Dreg. My eyes I'm, are wide. I'm, I'm just it. gonna. Uh, what? That's not gonna I, I, I can't see it. Uh, I trust you. Autofocus isn't on, but that's my natural 20. My yeah. first natural 20. Yeah, yeah, also. Ever. You do manage to uh, get out what seems to be actually a topaz and a ruby. A couple of them are actually pretty loose. This seems to be a really old um, construction. Mm -hmm. And it's kept in decent um, conditions, but not that great. So you do have these couple of gems with you. I say lovely, you managed to be. lovely craftsmanship. Shall we go? Yes, please, Sorry. follow me. And it kind of to, it kind of starts walking towards uh, the right, the corridor on the right. As you keep approaching, you see there is a, a door uh, by the end of the corridor uh, with some light coming under it. And what seems to be like very slow, steady tone of music coming from it. it seems to be someone playing, as far as you can tell. Are we heading towards the ballroom? Uh, yes. Okay. If you have the map on in front of you, it's you're going towards the ballroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He stops in front of the door. Please wait a second. He opens the door. You can see now he reaches to one of his pockets and pulls out and what seems to be a re initially like a really short stick kind of elongates into a longer one. Steps inside the room, gives a couple of uh, knocks on the ground. The last guest for the night have arrived. And he kind of points towards you guys. You're still outside the door. The door is not completely open. You can see from the inside there's a couple of movements of so these people inside, but you can't really tell them now. So if you want to give a better look, you probably have to go inside. Sure. I mean, this is where we're told we need yep. to go. So. <laughs> I'll walk in. As we're walking in, I'll just kind of like lean over towards Drag and say, I suggest you keep your eyes on the main prize. The tear? The ruby? Yeah, of course. We're not here for small change. That small change? And I'm going to keep walking. I roll my eyes at him and follow my dad. <laughs> Damn! God! <laughs> I can buy so many video games with this. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to make a point of always trying to be slightly behind another member of the party, to just okay. to try and not be like noticed. All right, you guys make your way inside the room. This is a huge ballroom. You can see on one end of it, it seems to be at least 15 to 20 undefined humanoid creatures from this distance uh, playing instruments. 
A very slow and steady music seems to be essentially um, uh, chill music, from what you can tell. Uh, as you look around, you do see other people here. You do notice, in particular, there are three other people in this room. Uh, one of them, you can't actually see that much. He's much taller than any of you. Uh, I'm assuming, who's the tallest? Probably either Uvis or uh, Garen? I'm 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm like 6'. Six. 6'2". Six okay, so this guy is at least 8-something. Jesus! Uh-huh. Uh, probably I'm has... He's taller than me. Uh, completely covered in what seems to be... Yeah, it's like 5 feet taller than you. <laughs> That's like me still on dry so shoulders. Uh, completely covered in what seems to be uh, a cape and a coat, uh, covering his face and most of his limbs. You can see every once in a while, as he motions around, uh, there's a very pale hand uh, with very sharp nails just motioning around every once in a while. But this is as much as you can see. Um, there is another uh, man standing there. Uh, this one seems to be more of your proportions. It's pretty much the same height as Ovis, so about six feet tall. Um, blonde hair, short. Um, the first thing that strikes you is this person um, has a bandage over his eyes, covering them, and it's just staring at you. Well, staring, just looking at you as much as you can. With this with expression, it seems to be just staring with, like, no f showing emotion at all, just... I, I wave. He completely knows his wave. Okay. Uh, and finally, there is another, uh, seems to be a woman, uh, around 20, late 20-ish. Uh, I would say a bit shorter than Ovis, and just standing there, uh, wearing what seems to be like a cardigan and some pants. Like a fancy cardigan? Or... No, just a regular cardigan. One okay. little... It's me. Suddenly don't <laughs> feel as underdressed. <clears throat> yeah. And as you oh, guys wait. approach... Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. And as you I'm guys just... enter... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> this is the weirdest party I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Okay, anyway, continue. That was it. That's all I had. Um... The, the servant, as you guys enter, nods and says, Your host will be with you shortly. Please do enjoy the buffet in the meantime. It points to one side. You can see there's a table with a bunch of food on it. It seems to be like uh, red wine, uh, punch, other stuff like uh, that sort. Uh, takes a step back, uh, closes the door, and as he does, you can see that two... Armored figure kind of steps in front of the door and just stay there. Seems to be two guards of some sort. And you guys you say, are left. Sorry. No, I was just going to say when you say armored figure, like a person in armor or well, a no, it's, animated it, armor? <laughs> well, it, it wears a helmet, from the, unless you want to inspect it. No, that's okay. <laughs> someone, someone wearing armor. We keep our distance this game. <clears throat> So, is it an open bar, or do you have to pay? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an open bar, yeah. Okay. I head can over I... to the wine. Yeah, can oh, I get my I... flask refilled? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, you can. So, everyone who wants to take a sip of the wine can do that. You can you can take as much wine as you want. No, I'm I want sure no that... wine. I'm not sure that... <laughs> Sniff it first. See if it smells of copper first. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, we're going to walk over there. I'm gonna go with drag, and I'm gonna like grab some canapes and like get a glass of wine and stuff. And I'm going to look at him and say, "Don't eat or drink anything." I'm just looking for like whiskey or scotch or something. Uh, Are you gonna drink anything? Make a. I like gesture to the party and how weird as fuck it is. <laughs> You gotta blend in, though. Isn't that what you're supposed that's to That's why, and I like, I, I'm like, yeah, that's why we, can, we, we have things. Don't <laughs> actually eat it. Can someone please reach me something from the back of the table? 
Yeah, I'll, what do you want? <laughs> Those things on the on the serving platter. This is the this is not what we're playing right now. Right, I give him some like uh, pigs in a blanket. <laughs> okay. And then, I don't know uh, if that's insensitive around drag. I don't know. Oh God. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> have you ever had? Really? <laughs> have you ever had pickled cream cheese roll-ups before? No Ooh, pickled, pickled cream cheese. And then rat rolled up in ham. It's really good. No, no, go back to the first bit. Pickles, cream pickles, cheese. Pickles, cream cheese, and all of that is rolled not into pickles, ham. Pickles, not pickles, cream cheese. It's good. Okay. Doesn't sound good. No. Okay. I feel like we're going a bit, a bit. All right. Did I find the? Did I find the alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you roll? Uh, I didn't, I didn't roll anything yet. Investigation. All right. Uh, you can find some alcohol. Yes. There uh, is some alcohol here. That's a fifteen. 50. Yeah, there's um, what seems to be like a really fine brandy on one side. There is a, a bottle of uh, whiskey, the equivalent of whiskey, the D and D equivalent of whiskey, because I'm not yeah. sure if there's actually whiskey in D and D world. But uh, oh, there has to be. Yeah, I'll just there pour that be. into my flask and just top it off. Okay. When he puts uh, the bottle the bottle back down, my hand reaches up from behind him, takes the bottle, and puts it in my bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make a. Are you trying to be stealthy about it? Sure. Okay. I mean, make it's me it's an open end. bar. He's just drinking uh, it all at once. Well, yes. <laughs> in the in the meantime, um, <laughs> let me know if any time any of you eat the food or drink the uh, the alcohol or the wine. Just let me know, just for um, unrelated reasons. <laughs> Fifteen on my slight I... <laughs> I. Garen is not drinking anything. He's trying to keep Drag from drinking anything. Meanwhile, I'm like annoyed, like just swirling this wine around in my glass. I can't drink it. I'm also gonna do because I have proficiency in a po in poisoners kits, so I would love to, I guess, investigate the food and drink for any kind of like okay uh, traces of substances that shouldn't be there. Uh, okay, you can just roll me a check with uh, wisdom and whatever. Uh, you have. And what was that? What was the second part? Wisdom and what? Uh, and your modifier, because you're proficient in it. Oh, got it. Yeah, I'll just take a sip from my flask. See what uh, happens. 13. 13. Doesn't seem to be poisoned, as far as you can tell. This smells like good food. Well, it smells like food. I'm going to wait still. I'm not going to okay. gonna... uh, you, you take a sip of the the alcohol it's really really smooth on your palate mm -hmm. and as it goes down it's probably one of the finest whiskey you ever drink in your life all right okay this place is fancy so uh i'm gonna walk near uh drag and i'm gonna try and sleight of hand my <laughs> flask to him oh no so that his dad doesn't sit I this, have is where, this is where he starts this is where the drinking starts uh yeah. that's I have to see this. uh 21. Oh, this 21. Fuck it, Everyone, uh, make a make a perception. I'm so bad at that. God, a nine. The nine. Okay, so you have the flask. I'm a bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see shit. Zara does all the work in this relationship. To be fair, you are distracted by the weird part. <laughs> that is very yeah. true. Which, by yeah. the way, at this point, you guys just enter and just went for the buffet. We're talking with anybody. Everybody's staring at you right now. This is what happens when you allow like people who aren't like rich and well to do. You give <laughs> access to an open bar and free food. <laughs> the guy told us to get some wine and some food and he brought us angle. directly to the wine and food. Like that it would is be very rude true. not to. And but yes, I'm gonna try to totally take a pull from this. Uh, yeah, right you can you can take a drink. How much Do I get another it... roll for that? <laughs> I'm gonna say with a nine? No, if you rolled at least a ten, I would have allowed it. <laughs> with a nine yes. This is how it begins. By the way, you're you're still investigating the poison in the thing. Is this the Don't first forget. time Drake has ever had? Is this the first time you ever a, had a whiskey? drink? Oh no, he's gotten <laughs> drinks elsewhere. He's okay. been a trash kid since exactly. thirteen. Easy. Garen okay, so. is just is just sniffing a very small quiche, like looking confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Allison, yeah. Allison. Yeah. 
I know. I, I love Anderson laughs every once in a while. Yeah, I, but, yeah. I also love the fact that this is a heist and it suddenly turned into like a sitcom. Oh, that's not surprising. <laughs> that's yeah. not surprising. I love it. Uh, you take a like... sip of it. Sorry, you were saying? No, just Book was going to be like saying to Hogus, like, it's like a pie. Just try it. She doesn't know what a, you, like he doesn't know what a quiche is. Uh, you, you eat. He's gonna make like a, and then just puts it on uh, Buck's plate and just says, "I don't eat on the job." Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and like ditch Drag, who is probably like sneaking a bunch of booze at this point, and just like yeah. walk towards the other guests, I guess. Uh, Drag, let me know how much you drink towards all of this. <laughs> I'm taking a big pull from the, the flask. I'm gonna this give is, that Why does everyone always take a big pull? <laughs> <laughs> it's enough to get a taste of it. Okay. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna taste, taste really my really flask good. etiquette. So. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, which one of the guests are you approaching? Uh... Karen. I'm so weirded out by the two guys, so I'll approach Cardigan Girl. I'll I'll, I'll approach Janet from accounting. Janet from the accounting. The wife's at home. <laughs> Janet. Um, she sees you approach. She welcomes you with a warm smile. Welcome. Uh, I must say, I do not know your name. It's good to see new faces in this sort of gatherings. And she kind of, uh, you know, um, which is with her hand for a shake. Um, how, is, how did you end up at this party? Oh, long story. Short story, I was invited. Me and the Lord, we go way back. No name for, was he feels like ages. Ah, uh, but where are my manners? Uh, my name is Gilma. Very nice to meet you. Gilma? Uh, yes. Garen. Peek over his shoulder and wave. <laughs> I'm assuming these other people are with you. No. <laughs> I, I walk up at this time. So, Dad, what are we? What are we up to next? <laughs> oh, that is lovely. <laughs> I must say, I haven't brought my son to one of these things in ages. Oh, they do tend to love it. Uh, the food. Hey, come on, Dad. What are we doing next? <laughs> These are all of my children. <laughs> Especially, um, okay, so at this point, I want to see what... So, you all of your children, that's nice, and... Oh, okay. The... This is in character now, it's cool. I mean, they do call you dad. She has no reason to doubt that. They, oh, and is that um, your lovely partner, or is that a co-worker? Any points towards uh, all this? Yeah, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach a pinky for, uh, for Garen's pinky, and just see if we can link him. Dragon tried his hardest to not laugh, <laughs> as hard as he can. Uh, you just, it's like he's like trying so hard to keep like a straight face, like, but you can see him like kind of turning a little red. Okay. And like in that anger? muscle, you don't know, you don't know, but that muscle in his jaw is just like picking a little bit as he's like, mm hmm. And he doesn't like return, like he like moves his hand like away. <laughs> um, but he doesn't like do anything overt. She looks towards all of you and say, a oh, bit of advice stay away from the quiche, it's terrible. I look down at my plate that has like half a dozen mini keys on it. <laughs> Pick it the black and though. Amazing. Just mm. finish it. They tend to finish almost immediately once the part actually starts, when the party actually starts it. So, you know, especially this guy kind of points towards uh, the the mysterious guys with the cloak. He eats like a bunch of them. I really don't like that guy. The tall guy you just pointed to? Yeah. Uh... Let me tell you, every time we meet, he kind of eats everything, he drinks everything, he's a mess. What's that guy's deal? I don't class. know. I don't know. It's like one of the pure blood and whatever. Ah, uh, one of those. Yeah. Boring. Yeah, I know how they are. Right, sweetie? And I just sort of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lean on this. Like... Like, it's real nice to see you two out together again. It's, 
Yeah. Nice. Still some for the drinking time, so. stuff, Dada. He's like gritting his teeth and he's gonna be like, so how do you know the Lord? Oh, we went way back. It was this, uh, I think we actually met uh, on the battlefield. It was, uh, oh, it was ages ago. How was it, like 200 years ago or something? I don't remember precisely. But let me tell you, it was an amazing night. Like, I think at the end of it, we were the last two standing on the whole battlefield. We had so much fun with it. This is from Cardigan Girl? Yes. Which side uh, did you fight on? <clears throat> Which Oh, battle? the winning side, of course. Oh, of course, but the name of the army was? <laughs> I don't remember. I, To be completely honest, we kind of infiltrated the thing, just because, you know, <laughs> chaos and violence. How can I resist? Yeah. Of course, right. Yeah. Can I do a history violence. check for... Can I do a history check for like a battle that happened 200 years ago? <laughs> yes, go for it. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm not very smart. Can I do, uh, like, can I see, like, what Six. her deal is? Is there, aside from, like, her attire, does she look, mm -hmm. like, elvish? Is she... Uh, make a nature check, I would say. I want to figure out what she is. Oh, I did good for once. Uh, 22. Nice. Okay, so with a six, you have no really idea. There must be a battle at some point during the last 200 years. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Makes sense. Uh, with a 22, she, she appears to be human, as far as you can tell. Okay. Is the, uh, um, with is a 22. The sorry, sorry. Yeah, with a 22. Is later. Yeah, it's cutting later. With a 22, you can see that uh, her eyes appear to be a bit more like sunken that healthy people usually have. And she's like a, a tingy more pale. Uh, does the cardigan but... cover her neck? Uh, it does not. Can, Can I look for like marks? Uh, yeah, make a perception check. I don't see any like fangs in her teeth or anything. Uh, you don't see any fangs, no. Does she have a wedding ring? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is your chance. Uh, hey, 23. Son. Sorry? 23? 23. Um. I mean, there's not really any uh, marks on the neck itself, mm. but you can see that um, neck and head have a weirdly enough different tone of skin. Oh. So, how does she use a very heavy uh, concealer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't blend. <laughs> it didn't blend well. <laughs> Aha. All right, I'm going to log that away, I think. I'm gonna Maybe like slowly he... put the glass of wine down now. I'm starting to get creeped out by everything. <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> took a little uh, while. And as she does, I say, "Oh, yes, you must try the drinks. The drinks are always amazing." She takes uh, uh, the wine, she pours it a bit, she drinks, it. and you can see uh, some of it spilled, and it's a very thick wine that just kind of drips. Hmm. Just oh, very sorry. Takes from a napkin and just kind of. Who drank so, the wine uh, so far? I don't think no one drank the wine. No. Um, uh, maybe we should go get some glasses of wine, though. And I'll just sort of, like, nudge Garen and maybe, like, the whole group. Like, let's... <laughs> can we all just as a unit, just like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can, are, you can... We're uh, a family. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> you can <laughs> cut my your way out of it. Me doubling leading me away. <laughs> doubling yes. down on that. And uh, as you're walking... You see now the other two guests are kind of approaching towards you, towards the table, just to make presentations. Oh, okay. Um, the hooded figure, you can see that he doesn't actually really walk. Seems to be floating right. towards you. Yes. Mm. And as he approaches you, you hear a voice. You don't really hear it, you more sense it. Greetings. Pleasure. To make your acquaintance, all of you. Pleasure's all mine. And ours, I guess. I'll speak for everybody. I, I, love love <laughs> I must say I am very confused. I do not know any of you, and I was led to believe that I know everyone in this business. Well, I'm Hovis. Uh, what was your name again? I did not give it to you, but... If you must know. Okay. 
If you must know, my name is Tarbarek, at least it is in this millennia. Okay. What was it? Talbrick? Uh, I'm gonna type it down. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we're new to the business. Mm. And where do you hail from? Oh, not Waterdeep. What's the other one? What's oh, the Westgate? No, no, no. What, what was the place we were from? Westgate? Westgate, Westgate yeah. yeah. Westgate. Yeah. Quaint little town. I haven't been there in a while. Sadly, we cannot fake an outbreak of pestilence that much often. Yeah. Pestilence? When you're from the town? Uh, not a whole lot. They just, they had a, a new litter of puppies, uh, a couple of cows <laughs> were born. Are you mocking um, me? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a small town. What, what news it were you looking for in particular? It's a small town. It's you must be small. mocking me. And I do appreciate a bit of humor. <laughs> it's something that misses for a lot of my colleagues. And he kind of, not really glances, but kind of uh, points his head towards uh, cutting a lady. And she kind of scoffs. <laughs> what was her name again? The name? Okay. All right. Uh, was Gilma. Gilma, got it. Gilma. So, I'll tell him um, that if he has any questions, if you have anything that you want to know specifically about the town, I'd, you know, I'd be more than happy to tell you. Yes. How does the business grow? We manage to corrupt enough people? It's going slow. The, uh, the guards have been a little bit more frightened lately, so we're trying not to move too quickly, you know? Mm -hmm. That was the first mistake I told uh, Vincenzo to start with the guards. Yeah. I told him repeatedly. Well, maybe when they calm down, we could rectify that. Start over. You should. If you have any problems, please do not be afraid to contact me. I'm always around for a bit of fun in the guard palace. We'll be sure to remember you. Ah, but I must say I am the oldest one in here, and it would be <laughs> rude of me not to show you around to present the others, and he kind of points towards the last remaining <laughs> uh, creature in the room. And as you see, you see this uh, normally she normal looking man who just uh, bend over his eyes. He kind of gives a nod. Says, He's a man of a few words, unfortunately. Lost his tongue to hunters a long time ago. But still a great company. Uh, this is Lancelot. Ah, the Lancelot. Oh, you've heard of him. <laughs> it's a familiar name. I know. Such great stories about him, such great adventures. Yeah. Do you care to recollect one of them? We always know, we always love to hear stories. Um, can I roll a history check? To you can roll a history actually... check, yes. <clears throat> uh, that's gonna be... Uh, 17. 17? You have no fucking idea what this guy is. Oh, just... Well, 17? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Just, uh... You know, so many great battles that, uh, you know, he helped win. I'm going to just too many to accidentally pick. knock, like, a glass of wine over to try to make a distraction oh, right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my... the, the there kids, is no you know. water on the table. <laughs> but, like, are you saying, like, water, knock it sure. into the air? <laughs> 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 my, my apologies. I didn't... Well, well I'll, let's I'll get on with the, uh, with the invitation, or the uh, introduction, shall we? Yes, and this is everyone in the room. I think you already made your acquaintances with Gilma. I'm going to wink at, at Drag after the uh, the table thing. You seem a little nod back. And at this point, you guys are standing near the table. The three people are just essentially kind of surrounding you. Hmm. 
as there's one on your right, one on your left, and one in front of you. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of look at you, and you can see, again, the mute one is staring at you. Still? Still. He's, he's never like, okay. Nope. I'm going to wave like again. following me. He kind of takes a step <laughs> forward and gives a couple of smell to who is. And as that happened, the lights, the lights go out. <laughs> I, I drop to the ground as the lights. I just have to say, I immediately <laughs> drop. <laughs> yeah, I think I would crouch and like grab Drag by the scruff of his collar and like pull him down too. I'm trying um, to look around since I can see. You a want this Drag to see? <laughs> uh, drag, you see that time. the three figures are still standing there, slowly uh, kind of turning towards uh, around to look, get a look around. And as that happened, um, a burst of music, almost rock-like, just kind of comes out from the band. Lights shoot out, and standing in front of the band is a tall man, beautiful, flowing black hair, almost to the ground. And you can see oh they don't God. actually touch the ground. They seem to be hovering about behind him. Huge smile on his face. I stand up. What? <laughs> yeah, and he takes a couple of steps forward, and then says, "Well, welcome everybody to my party." Oh my God. <laughs> I clap at the end. Yeah, Thank I don't you. clap. Thank you. But... It took me some time to organize it, and he kind of takes a couple of steps forward. And you can see he is almost like a dancing <laughs> step as he does. Is the band goes, still going behind him? The band is still going behind him. He kind of looks around. He kind of reaches towards Gilma. And as she does, she kind of takes his head. He kind of takes her um, for a couple of spins around the ballroom. She kind of kind of le- 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 left her leap. Shit. English. <laughs> it's an easy language. Yes. Let go of her hand and kind of reaches towards um, Lancelot. Again, a couple of spins. <laughs> oh, uh, good. He gets to dance too. Yeah. Uh, that would be really disorientating if he's actually uh, Okay, with a three, he reaches towards... <laughs> he reaches towards Gavin. Uh... <laughs> I, I just give him a little nudge towards him. <laughs> he's gonna, like, push drag away and just, like... He looks at you expectantly. I'll grab his hand. Don't be rude! <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll grab his hand. Takes you, um... <laughs> takes you to the to the room, and you start spinning around. He's uh, pretty good at dancing, you must admit. You haven't... I don't know how much dancing has uh, Gavin done in his life, but you're assuming this is good. None. I do need you to make a charisma save. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, Garen has, like, never... He's, like, not a dancer. He's not suave in that respect at all. Um, oh my god, charisma save? Okay. Uh, unnatural 20. Natural 20, no, very no, no. good. Unnatural. Unnatural a, a 20. Thick okay. 20. A thick a 20. A thick 20. A dirty 20. Um, as he does, he, he looks at you straight in the eye all throughout. It is very uncomfortable. Uh, finally, he lets go of you. And it says, friends, companions, recent acquaintances. You're all invited here because it is time again to celebrate our alliance. So, dance, eat, feast. It is time for everyone to have fun. After all, if we're all around, should not everyone get a bite? (laughs) (laughs) I do not laugh. (laughs) No laughing. Whilst all this is going on, I'm sticking, I empty all the food off my plate into my bag. I look at the plate and then put the plate in my bag as well. Okay, sure. I'm going to say at this point, everyone is distracted enough by the appearance of his lordship Mm -hmm. not to take, not to notice you. Um, And you can see that the guest at this point, I kind of started dispersing, so you're not surrounded by them. Lancelot is still staring at you. Okay, do you 
Would you like a, some pigs in the blanket or something? I could bring them over. <laughs> I heard the quiche was bad, so. He kind of looks at you and he kind of takes a couple of step backs uh -huh. and sits on one of the chairs that are on the far side, still looking at you guys. All right. Well, we're going to check out the food table and I'm going to sort of tap Buck on the shoulder. <laughs> let's, let's head over there. And then I'm going to lean over and I'm going to go, I think they're vampires. No shit. Yeah, that, you're not you, there. You can't just you can't just make that oh. assumption about people. I'm That's just you guys are really intolerant. All of my assumptions so far have been right, though. All of them? Well, you were the halfling, and you are a thief. <laughs> so, whoa, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa! I am a mercer. All right. Well, you're here with us, and you just stole a plate. I saw it. <laughs> I think he stole a souvenir. Food, too. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. It's like when you go to a like a when you go to an inn, and they expect you to steal the towels and the sheets and the candlestick and. Yeah, I know things. that. Obviously. Yeah. All right, let's. I don't know. This place freaked me out. Let's let's go over here. Come on. I'm gonna look Drag dead in the eye, and just say, "You do not say a word of this to your mother." <laughs> I'm going to do this, but I've got my fingers crossed behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to like, so the, what, how do you say his, his name again? The Lord, the main guy? Vincenzo. What was Vincenzo? It? Vincenzo, yes. Vincenzo, okay. Uh, I'm going to try and, and like spot investigate or like observe i'm not obviously like close enough to search him anymore but like i mean i'm sure he'd let you get close enough <laughs> we're not i'm not that desperate yet um i want to see if there's any sign of this ruby this like thing we're supposed well, to grab you can make a well you were told how uh, big is this thing be, it would be uh, it's difficult because the no actually people have seen it as a vibe but Rumored to be pretty hefty. Okay, and so it's not like a piece of that, jewelry. Or no, it's not a piece of jewelry. Okay. And you guys have been told that it would be hidden somewhere in a castle, probably on this floor. Okay, so we need to start thinking of a way to get out of the main party. Are there balconies or anything? Ask. Sorry? Let's, uh, go ahead, um, Leo. I was just going to say, like, is the barn door open? Are like, people coming and going? Or? Uh, there are a couple of... Uh, guard standing post of the side of it, but the door is it's closed, but it can be opened. It doesn't seem that it, you didn't hear you didn't hear it being locked. Well, I've, it's got a I've got a plan over this. Here. Are there are there more guests than the three, or is it just the three and then us? You have no idea. He, he told you the seven told you that you were guys were the last ones. To got it. Okay, but there's there's not like other people milling about that we know of. No, that you know. Okay, got it. Okay. I wasn't sure how busy, like crowded yeah. the party it was. Oh, hold it! I've got an idea how to get out of this room. Kelsey, okay. Here. Stop. Eat this quiche. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Kelsey. I'm, okay, I'm gonna eat this quiche, and then you're gonna right. lead me to the door, and you say to, "Hey, we need to just get out of here so I don't throw up on the floor." To explain that I ate the quiche. Okay. All right. And then I have a are there any armor. are there any balconies in the room or verandas or anything? That oh, there are no even windows in this room. Oh, okay. All right. So then, on, I guess it. we're I going towards that door. All right. So I'll put I'll put my hands like one over your back and like I'll like grab your arm and like I'll start yeah. moving you towards the door. Um, okay. Uh, at the same time, as you guys are doing this, uh, Garen and Rag, what are you guys doing? I'm walking up to Garen and we're like, okay, so we ate some food, we drank some drinks. Now what? It seems pretty obvious that we're not part of this crowd right now. What's next? Well, we need to get out of this room. And we need a good reason to do it. So, uh, <laughs> can I see what they're doing now? Are they walking towards the door? I'm assuming, yes. They're walking towards the door and you can see that uh, Hovis is kind of holding uh, back, as if he's like, as if he's sick. I'm holding my stomach and like, whoa, whoa. well, it uh, looks like your husband and another child are sick right now. 
I'm going to actually uh, play the part in this ruse of trying to do, grab the attention of the other guests so they had, mm-hmm. they're more focused on us two, Drag and I, and not on the other two. Okay. So we might be splitting the party a little bit, but I want to like give mm-hmm. them a better chance of getting out of here mm-hmm. if they can. Uh, okay, so what would you like to do to detect attention? Uh, I'll walk up to the Lord. <laughs> Okay, good. The vampire man, who might be a vampire, but might not also not be a vampire. Um, and I'll God, I'll just walk up to him and be like, "So, where did you learn to dance?" Here and there. It is a great hobby to have. I don't think we've been formally introduced yet. I'm Garen. Ah. My name is Lord Vincenzo Desferati. It's very great to make your acquaintance. Thank I must you say. For the invitation. Oh, well, to be completely honest, the invitation wasn't exactly for you. You are the embassy sent from the guild, but. Well, it is an honor to have the guild here. We're here to represent. It is a family business, after all. And I'm going to gesture to my ch- to my son. <laughs> We're just like awkwardly standing there and just <laughs> wave. Like when you drive to a parent's work function and you don't know anyone, you just stood there at the shoulder all night. Pretty uh, much. Always nice to uh, to see children. Unfortunately, we don't see that many here. I must say, I am confused. You say this is a family business, but I don't remember it being this way at all. I haven't checked in a long while, though. That might be why. It's good to know that the guild is investing in their future. Always great future when there are families involved in the business. If you're not comfortable with having children here, I can always send them away. Oh no, it's not that I'm uncomfortable, it's that we did have children back here in the day, they all ended up eating each other, so it was sort of a mess. More difficult to control the impulses when they're kids. But uh, that's entirely up to you if you want to send him away. Hmm. I'm assuming since he's the only one, it should be fine. I, I've got pretty good impulse control. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the two of you guys are making your way towards the gods. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, as so you guys step in front of the guards, they just kind of move to the side. Oh, cool. OK. okay. But I'm not even gonna say anything. I, no, I, yeah, I still keep up the act, though. I'm still acting yeah. like on the way. Just go through the door. All right, you are now completely in darkness. Uh huh. There is no light. Are the doors closed have... behind us? Uh, well, you opened it, and then you closed yeah, it back but... again. So yes. Yeah. So, okay, I I cast uh, light on my glove. Uh, oh, um, is that a cantrip? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so and, you can yeah, see... Yeah, and Buck looks up at Hovis and says, I'm a wizard, by the way. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Appreciate that. Well, I'm assuming a, I, you... I have a gem that lets me use it, like, to make light. So if if that wizard stuff makes you tired, I could, like... <laughs> I don't know how magic works. Well, if I die, you the light will go out, so you may need that. All right, well, I mean, let's not worry about that yet. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. They are um, vampires, though, so... I assume sure, we're walking, sure. as we're saying. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to describe that to you. I'm, I'm going to finish up real quick the conversation between the vampire. Well, sorry, okay. the alleged vampire and mm. the two people. <laughs> sorry. Freud didn't sleep. Um, the... The fountain uh, that we saw when we were walking in. The gems. Oh, you liked it. Yeah, uh, it was the fountain of life, I call piece. it. Sorry? Oh, I was just commenting, thinking it was a marvelous piece. I was curious if you had others. Have you been in this estate long? Do you ever do tours? I do not do tours much anymore. I used to do when I was younger. <laughs> but uh, that that man is gone. Now I mostly stay here, take care of my own business, and take care of other business in our community. Do you have other pieces like the the fountain? Quite like the fountain, no, that is probably my masterpiece. Mm-hmm. I do have other things in my home. 
I do have a collection of memorabilia, which I am really proud of. I am also very proud of some particular collection of gems that I do have. Do you ever, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I just never have the opportunity to see something so marvelous. So if you are at all inclined to take a break from the party and go take a look and offer us a tour, I would. I am I very much afraid. Phone. I am very much afraid that I don't let anyone access to my gems. Hmm. But night is young. We'll see after the party if you're still interested. And I am. And he kind of winks at you. <laughs> To be fair, you offered to send your child away and try to get him alone, so... Is he really misreading? Son of a bitch, <laughs> no. <laughs> but... Sorry, you were saying something. I can see from your face that you were about to speak and I rudely interrupted. No, that was it. I was curious if you... had other artifacts that were that interesting. Plenty, but oh. we can talk about it later. I'll be alright. Cool. I'll leave. Okay. <laughs> I'll walk away. All right. Um, it's like when Darren walks by, I just go smooth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so now we're expecting to go. I love it. Uh, okay, so the two of you are staying in the party or trying to sneak out? Um, That's a very important question. No, because I otherwise we're gonna have to Which split two? the party. The two that are currently inside the room, the bottom room. Um, I don't mind. I'm gonna send Drake with them. Okay. We're gonna split the party, but I'm gonna send Drake with those two. All right. Just to get him out from under my nose. <laughs> All right. Drake, you make your way outside, and at this point, you see both of them start walking, and as they do. You probably familiarize yourself with a map, I'm assuming, as people on the mission. So you do know that, excellent for the ballroom, you have the dining room on your right, the memorabilia room on your left, and you can go to the center where the fountain is, essentially reach every other place on this mansion, on this castle. So were you guys interested in anything in particular yet? As you walk, the walls are Bare stone, completely smooth all around, and you can clearly see very well defined stone doors at each room. I am torn between two locations. I want to either look at the hunting trophies or the memorabilia room. Does Hobbies have any strong preferences? Are you saying this to me? Well, uh, no, but. Memorabilia? I, yeah, I guess I would, yeah. Okay. Sounds like more of a chance to find something worthwhile in there. So it's the three of us together now, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing like we're partly down the corridor and Drake comes out and. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... yeah. Garen trusts those two more than he trusts those crazy vampires, so I think he just wanted to get like Drake out of the way. Okay, I don't know if he's safer with us, but we'll see what happens. Um. It's a yeah, game. I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let Buck <laughs> lead the way. Okay, and, uh, is it, I'll pass is it, the flask to Drag again, not covertly okay. this time. I definitely take a drink. All right. Okay, yeah. so you guys are going to what room? Sorry. Uh, memorabilia. Memorabilia room. Okay. Um. All right. So you reach the door. Um. What would you like to do? I try the door handle. We guess there's no reason it should be trapped. Well, the door is closed and locked. Okay. Um, I say, I turn to Dragon and say, Hey, kid, do you want to see a neat trick? Sure. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't waiting anyway, he's like cracking his knuckles. And I cast uh, Mage Hand, and I have it retrieve my lockpick from my belt. And I'm going to try picking the lock to the memorabilia room. All right, you can make your roll. Slide of end plus your dexterity. I mean, no slide of end plus your dexterity. 17. 17, okay. 17 is enough. It takes you a bit of time, but you manage to lock it, finally. That took a little while. Um, it takes a couple of, I guess, a couple of minutes. The, the rest of the party kind of starts looking at you, kind of expectantly, and you finally manage to open it. It was not 
the best um, showmanship, but it was functional. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is one hand using multiple lockpicks. So true. true. <laughs> you don't have to impress me. I'm thoroughly impressed. Oh, thanks, <laughs> DM Petty. Uh, you open the door, and it opens up to. You have no comparison with other rooms so far, but it's definitely smaller than the ballroom. Um, seems to be <laughs> mostly consisting of um, displays of different sorts all over the walls and a couple of them inside the room. You can you give a look around, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, you can see that uh, there is a, a chessboard um, made of, seems to be like marble with um, red veins. You can see there is um, <laughs> arrows just propped up um, onto the wall, 20 of them. You can see there is... Um, actually, if you guys are going around looking at stuff, I need both, each one of you to give me like a perception check, just to see what you guys find. Yeah, just for the record, go inside, quickly close the door behind us, make it like no one does it. Okay. Um, perception, you said? Uh-huh. 10. 10, okay. And, Ten. Uh, Ten? Yeah. Six. Okay. Or we're just passing the flask back and forth. <laughs> okay, uh, but first thing you notice is that uh, there is some light inside this room. There's, there appears to be like a wooden plank that is burning. Uh, you look around uh, with the lowest one, Buck. Do you see what seems to be a wanted poster on one side with your face on it? But with it, is it like framed or? <laughs> it is framed, and, and what, a... like, what what crime am I wanted for? Uh, you wanted for multiple crimes. You wanted for um, what you call it? Uh, assassination, murder. You wanted for um, theory. Well, Mostly... those two are passing the flash backwards and forward. I okay. Tried. You do notice that the 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 year is wrong. It's five years from now. What? Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, yeah, I'm taking that. It's, <laughs> is... it's a wanted post that tells the future. Um, Are there other that, wanted this, this my in there? Do, do I uh, see him taking the, the thing off the wall? Uh, I'm assuming yes. But before you, you do not, that... There's not really a subtle way to take a picture frame. <clears> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you guys both see other things. I'm going to say that... Um, uh, Hoovis... You do find um, a cane sword. Okay. And it's pretty edgy. Yes. <laughs> Salt's normally out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Drug, drug. You do find what seems to be a hairpin. The the things like that a fancy one or like seems to be like a regular one. Just a normal hairpin. Uh, what does the cane sword look like? Uh, well, it's really, really fancy. It seems to be to be made of some sort of silver-ish metal. You don't know if it's like pure silver or it's like silver coated, but there are like a lot of engravings, and you can see on it there are engravings of different animals: wolves, uh, the, what appear to be a boar. There's a rat. There's okay. a bear. I look at it for a second, and then I just walk past it. Okay. You keep kind of walking. <laughs> You keep walking past it. You guys rolled really crap on your first episode. Check. Um, at one point, you <clears throat> reach what seems to be like a huge display of dolls. Mm. Nope. Stand okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. And as you poke as you kind of starts walking, you hear knocking from the dolls. <laughs> Turn around or from the door. The dolls are in a different position than they were before. Ah, cool. And. <laughs> I walk etched, over to the doors. Etched on the <laughs> etched on the glass, it seems to be a, a, something that wasn't there. There's a help us. I walk up. Oh. I start inspecting that stuff right now. Okay, so you want to expect it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, roll me an arcana check of any kind. Uh. 
Okay, Arcana. Uh, uh -huh. 13. 13. Definitely magical dolts. Because uh, you notice every time you close your eyes, blink, and do it again, they move around. Just never when you're seeing them. Is this like the uh, angels from Doctor Who? Like... Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of, at this point, you are the one closest to her. They're kind of looking all towards you. And you can see this probably about 20 -ish dolls just kind of looking towards you. Do and they then all look as you the blink same? again, they kind of, they all look the same, yes. Almost as if they came out of the factory, essentially. And as you, as they all look towards you, blink again. They kind of look towards the the lock. The lock, on the yeah, door. Yeah, it's a it's a display, so it's a oh. lock display. Oh, I see. Should we should we let them out? No. No. But they're saying help us. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. They could help be us eat questions. you. Help us tear you, you apart. Could what if, anything. like, the vampires put, like, the souls into the dolls or something? Yeah. Like... Are you familiar with, like, stories of the Weeping Woman? Anything no. like that? Like, no. It's, it's like, seems bad. spirits and ghosts will normally say, like, help me. And then you go, oh, that's a young woman walking by the side of the road in the middle of the night. I will help her. I will give her a ride home. And then next morning, people find your dead body strewn about the road. Okay, well, here's what we need to ask ourselves. When we got that invitation, did it say, get some dolls? But or maybe the say, dolls know where the gem is. Why would the dolls? Here, uh, as, hey, dolls, do you know where, where the gem, gem is. Oh, oh uh, god! I step, blink, I step back. I'm stepping back. As you back guys blink, you see up here, almost as big as the whole display, a yes, etched on it, on the glass. They know where it is. I'm convinced. They know where it is. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Dolls. What's the name of the gem? And. It takes them a while to write because it's a long name, <laughs> but they do give you um, the right name. You do see Estonate, Modox tier. Okay. We gotta leave, guys. I mean, we've here's the deal. Right Let's look for the gem, and then if we if we find the gem and we feel like still feel like these are the trapped souls of innocent people, we can come back for them. How about that? Yes, except we don't come back. And as but you say that, say you that see we do. on the glass uh, a bunch of times repeated, help us, help us, help us, help us. I'm just, I'm just turning around and walking away from them. I really want to open it. <laughs> That's up to you, man. <laughs> if anything, this could be a nice distraction during the party right. to get around. No! <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, fine. I'll come back. Right. Also, here's the thing: All if right. we let them out and it's a distraction, so they will know we've been snooping around in their private lock ship. Yeah, they're gonna notice we're missing anyway. There's only four people. They're also gonna notice not... the missing wanted poster. Yeah. No, no one notices wanted posters. It was a big framed poster, wasn't it? There's like a big blank spot in the wall right there. Yes, there is. <laughs> For the record, I have put the frame back. Empty okay. frame back. Okay. <laughs> no, the wanted poster's gone. The frame's there. Okay. Rock, paper, right. scissors. Let's. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this sounds how a 15 year old, <laughs> 15 year old would want to solve them. Are we rock, paper, scissoring for the wanted poster being put back or for letting the dolls out? For letting the dolls out, you can keep the poster. No! That's fine. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's talk with the dolls a little bit more before no! we make any decisions. <laughs> well, if the choice is no one's walking away, so if the choice is open the case or not, we have to figure out like if we should do that. So I'm gonna ask okay. the uh, I'm no, gonna no, ask the dolls how they feel about the vampires. They're gonna tell us what they. Well, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll just see. We'll see what they say. Could be anything. Hey. They're just gonna... It's gonna take 20 minutes out. to write this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're just gonna scout, scratch out hate them. Okay. Uh, insight check the scratches. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sure. You want to insight check the doll? You can insight check. You brought me an insight check. <laughs> oh, I lost it a little. <laughs> uh, that's, gonna be a, that's gonna be a natural one. <laughs> natural one. They are true as fuck. Maybe we yeah, should the let most them out. Trustworthy people. You are now convinced that you should let they them out. They don't like it's, the vampires either. It's two to one. Yeah. I. 
What? I'm altering it. I'm gonna start. The... I'm gonna. No, hang on. What is the modifier for uh, insight? Because apparently insight is not on my sheet. Uh, it's uh, it's the wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is a plus zero. Never mind. Eight. <laughs> Eight. They seem to be truthful. All right, as far as dolls can be. These dolls need our help, so I'm gonna unlock the case. <laughs> okay, giant, I can roll me a slight If they, they try to kill us, I, I remember what I said about Ever... I hide to punch people in the crouch. This is I what you get when you send Drake away. I'm gonna uh... disappear for a second to look for that d20 that I just threw. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. If the dolls okay. do attack, I might not pop back up. Okay. <laughs> what do I gotta um, roll? Ma make me a slight of end. Uh, oh, my yeah, yeah, no, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, Thieves tool. Uh, a thieves tool that is uh, dexterity. Mm -hmm. proficiency. Okay, so that is. I don't uh, know if you have expertise on it, but. 21. 21. <laughs> Super easy. This is like it. Do you want to kit? <laughs> okay, I'm stepping backward <laughs> as he's doing this, just five or six steps you just away from the child. It. As you do, you open. Uh, the display. Everything goes dark for a second, and this is where we're going to take the first break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Because it's ask... been a bit, yes. Can I ask a quick question? So in the mm -hmm. ballroom, since I'm looking at the map right now, it's like on the edge of like this cylindrical yeah. thing. Are there mm -hmm. windows? No, there are no windows in this. The only windows you saw were the eyes of the skull. Okay. And I know where the memorabilia room is. So while yes. this is all going on, can I be like, essentially like looking along that that wall, that side wall for like any kind of hidden doors? Um, you can make me an In investigation check. We're gonna do this real quick. Okay. And actually, I was going to do something with you, so we're gonna do it like right now. Leave it also on a cliffhanger. Great. Uh, investigation is a sixteen. Sixteen. Doesn't seem to be any um. Uh, secret door that you can see but as you kind of kind of expecting it just you know touching it once in a while the wall just hanging on that wall mm -hmm. uh, you see lancelot advancing towards you oh fuck this guy you're so popular with the men at this, this party i'm like, gonna and hit on again he kind of <laughs> looks at you kind of looks around you he kind of points in the empty spots the empty spots around me? Yes. Oh, okay. You get the feeling that he's asking where are the others? Because he can't really talk. He has no tongue. <laughs> they got sick. I think they had to leave. Bad quiche. Can you make a deception check? Ooh. Did you have Nine? advantage because I made that whole act earlier? Uh, sure. Roll with advantage. Okay, I'll take it. He He's didn't see that, though. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Sorry? Did he see the, the, the ruse? You have no idea what these guys can or cannot see. Okay, you guys that's are fair. That's I'm going to say, roll with advantage. Take the advantage. You're probably going to need it. 14. 14. This is a big day. Uh, yeah. I, I roll the natural 13 as a plus 2. Uh-oh. That's no good. Uh oh. He kind of looks at you. You can see from under uh, the the bandages, wisps of shadows just kind of seeps in towards you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, real quick. Dad. Natural oh, one. No. This is where we're going to leave for oh, now. This is where we're going to leave for now, and we're going to go back in a second. So uh, I'll say like 10 minutes, 10 minutes. If you guys need to stretch your legs, uh, drink something, go to the bathroom. We'll be back in a while.